But here's what most people don't know. Fleming couldn't figure out how to mass produce it. He published his findings in 1929, but for over a decade, penicillin remained a laboratory curiosity. Then, World War II began. Soldiers were dying, not from their wounds, but from infections afterward. Two scientists, Howard Florey and Ernst Chain at Oxford University, remembered Fleming's moldy dish. By 1942, they'd figured out how to produce penicillin in large quantities. The first civilian patient treated with penicillin was Ann Miller in March 1942. She was near death from a blood infection after a miscarriage. Within hours of receiving penicillin, her fever dropped. She made a full recovery. By D-Day in 1944, penicillin was being mass-produced for Allied troops. Infections that would have killed soldiers in World War I were now curable. Today, penicillin and the antibiotics it inspired have saved an estimated 200 million lives. All because one scientist forgot to clean his lab before vacation.